Tonight, everyone in this chamber is praying for you. Everyone in America is grieving for you. Please stand. Thank you very much. An incredibly moving moment last night at the State of the Union. President Trump consoling the parents of two teenage girls. Now, police say that Nisa Mickens and Kayla Cuevas were chased down and brutally murdered by MS-13 gang members in Long Island in New York in 2016. Three of the four people charged with the murders are illegal immigrants. President Trump honored Nissa and Kayla last night by inviting their parents to the speech. We reached out to Nissa's parents, Elizabeth Alvarado and Robert Mickens, and both are kind enough to join us and share their thoughts on the evening and the reaction to that moment. Uh, to both of you, I thought a lot about you both today uh, in the aftermath of the speech and the reaction. And I want to say for my listening audience on radio, and I know all the viewers on Fox, uh, you know, no words can express how incredibly devastated I know you must be. And we just thank you so much for being brave enough uh, to come on the show and talk to us. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, I want to first uh, just ask you uh, what, what it was like to be invited to the State of the Union uh, speech. Uh, so many politicians haven't really confronted what MS-13 has done to American communities. Suffolk County and Long Island especially hard hit in 2016 and 2017 uh, by MS-13. Uh, what, what was it like to be invited? It was definitely an honor, and we were still shocked about receiving an invite. And, you know, this is something that we would, if he was asked to do it again, we would definitely do it. Yeah, we would. And it Elizabeth? Was, um, overwhelming. Go ahead. I'm sorry. It was, it was very overwhelming, um, and I appreciated that, you know, that he let us come there to see him. It was an honor to see him. And you met with him before the State of the Union uh, speech briefly. And what was that like? <laughs> I'm sorry. It was, it was, it was good. Me. It was good. Um, you know, when, when we walked into the to his office, um, it was just like breathtaking. And I had Nisa's pen on me. So I asked him if he would like, you know, if he could take it, you know, for a gift. And he took it and he took pictures with it and he took pictures with me with it. And I, you know, he's very genuine, very nice president. Um, have, you know, I, I, I really am happy that I met him. Uh, I want to ask you both. Uh what it felt like to find out that so many uh, people in the room, uh, and they're mostly Democrats, did not stand up when you were recognized and when your daughter was recognized uh, last night. Well, I felt it was uh, very disrespectful for the simple fact the Democrats who was there who did not stand up, they were African Americans. So that hurts me a lot to show that they did not have the respect or to honor what just happened to our lives and to America's lives. And it, it's not right, you know, regardless of how they feel about the president, they should show the respect because I would show them the respect if that was their loved one. Uh, there was a woman on a, uh, another cable channel uh, earlier today. And I, again, I tried to put myself in your shoes hearing some of the comments that were made after this amazing moment uh, where so many of us were literally crying with you. Uh, and her name is Joy Reid, and she said this. He gives a speech tonight in which he makes it sound like the biggest issue in the United States, uh, the biggest threat is MS-13, a gang nobody that doesn't watch Fox News has ever heard of. So Why he makes it sound that? like they are the biggest Why threat. Elizabeth, like MS-13 yes. is any big deal. I have no words. I mean, um, these are gang members that just, you know, decided to be 
a judge and a jury to take my daughter out like that. It's unacceptable. Um, I, I don't want it to happen to anybody else's family. But something needs to be done. And I won't stop doing what I'm doing until everything turns out right. I can only hope and pray that whoever's <coughs> listening or any gang members, please stop the violence. It's enough. How much more blood do we have to shed? Well, it's before not. we start, in, yeah, before we start uh, uh, enforcing our borders, they should never be in this country in the first place. If they weren't in this country in the first place, your daughter would still be alive today. That's, what's, that's what makes my blood boil. They should never have been here. Uh, Robert and Elizabeth, uh, thank you. I know we're going to check back with you. Uh, and we wish you both, uh, you know, all the best. And I know it's a still searing pain for both of you. Thank you so much for spending some time with us tonight. Oh, you're, you're welcome, welcome, and thank you for having us. It's, Absolutely. It's, like I said, it's an honor. Oh, God bless you. Thank you. Uh,